Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 3 to the power of 2x equals 2 to the power of x squared. And we want to find the value of x. Okay, so now that we cannot express this in this form or express this in this form, they can have the same base. What should we do? We'll take the log of both sides. Log 3 to the power of 2x. Then on the other hand, we have log 2 to the power of x squared. This is what we have, right? And there's a law that says the power gets behind. So we're having 2x to multiply log 3. Then here we have x squared to multiply log 2. Our next target is to make sure that x gets together and the log gets together. So we'll have um, 2x log 3. I can divide this by log 3. Then here I have x squared log 2. Then I'll divide by log 3. This is what I've done. So that this will take this away. Now we have 2x to be equal to x squared. Then we have log 2 divided by log 3. I believe you know we have not changed anything on the right. You can decide to open the bracket and it's okay. Now, the next thing, I want to write this as 1. We apply difference of base. Uh, we apply change of base. So we have 2x to be equal to x squared, right? Then we have, um, if we apply change of base here, you're going to have log 2 to base 3. This 3 here becomes the base to the numerator. And like I said before, we are interested in we are interested in getting the x together so what if i divide this by x squared right and then i divide this by x squared so this means that we can remove this now so we have 2x over x squared to be equal to log 2 to base 3 now what should i do from here x squared here is the same as x times x. So this is equal to log 2 to the base of 3. So we can remove one of the x and remove that. So this means that we now have um, 2 over x to be equal to log 2 to the base of 3. Okay, so from here, we are looking for the value of x. Okay, so we can even turn this around. So we get um, x over 2 equals here. Now we'll turn this to get 1 over log, log 2 to the base of 3. Right? So now the next thing is to cross multiply if we have to. So that 2 will multiply that. And x will be... 2 over 2 over log of 2 to base 3. So this right here is the value of x that would um, satisfy the equation. And if you want to have your answer in decimal form, you can equally work on this and write this in decimal. Log 2 to base 3. As a matter of fact, let's get it in decimal. So our x is going to be 2 divided by log 2 to base 3 is what? Log 2 to base 3 is um, 0 0.631. 0 0.631. So our x will be, let's divide this, right? 2 divided by 0 0.631. 
Okay, so this will uh, approximately give us, okay, from calculator, 3.17. 3.17. Okay, so this is the value of x that is satisfying the equation. Um, the equation again is 3 to the power of 2x equals 2 to the power of x squared. Now let's try to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, so we are trying to verify now, right? So here we are going to have um, 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by x is appro approximately 3.17. Then on the other hand, let me put this in circle. We are going to have um, 2 to the power of x is still 3.17. Then let's see square on it. Okay, so let's go. If you like, you put this together. Now let's multiply this. We have um, 3. 2 times 7, that is 4. Then 2 times um, 1 is 2 plus the one we moved from here that will give us 3 then 2 times 3 that will be 6 and there's a decimal point here right okay this is 6 points it's a point here this is no multiplication then on the other hand we will square this okay let's use calculator for that 3.1 squared okay so let me write it in full this is giving us 10.0489489. That's what we had. So now let's compare. We are still putting this in circle because we are not sure that the left hand side and the right hand side will be equal. So 6, 3 to the power of 6.34. From the calculator, let's see what that will give us. Okay, so 6. I mean 3 to the power of um, 6.34 that is giving us 1059.129 approximately approximately right and then on the other hand we have 2 to the power of 10.0489 that's giving us again um 1059.303 approximately so by looking at these two since we have approximated the value of x to be this we cannot have the exact value on both hands but if we are to round this to the nearest um, whole number we're having 1059 on the left and on the right we'll have the same 1059 so this means that our x is truly or is approximately um, 3.17 thank you for watching